Well, what's going on, everybody? The Iceman here on the Iceman V2013 YouTube channel. couple good pay-per-views this weekend now are overshadowed. A lot of problems within AEW. Um, the Punk and Tony Khan media scrum. Punk went off. Uh, basically, this is what he did. He said, Hangman Page is nothing but an idiot. Um, he's a dumb fuck. Uh, he's never won anything in his life. Um, <clears throat> and and he just, he just kept belittling Hangman. And then he was off. And, you know, the thing that really bothered me the most was Tony Khan did not defend his people. And it wasn't just Hangman that Punk went off on. Uh, he was basically saying the executive vice presidents are losers. Um, they're the ones who should have taken care of, you know, uh, Hangman. And, and, you know, what this means, I'm not really sure. I guess Hangman went on national TV and said, it. he goes, I don't need any advice from anybody. Blah, 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 blah. And uh, he ditched Kenny Omega. He ditched the Young Bucks. And then afterwards, CM Punk started a fight with the Young Bucks, and he Punk took the first swing. So right now there are uh, speculations that Kenny and the Young Bucks are threatening to walk out of AEW unless something is done. Uh Tony Khan's got a big problem on his hands. Uh, you, you know, the bottom line is CM Punk has got a swelled head. And when he first came into AEW, he said it's all about opportunities and whatnot. He said he'd help anybody in the locker room. He called the locker room trash. Now the locker room is divided. Uh, he has created uh, a huge, huge problem for AEW. And quite honestly, I really don't know what the answer is. How are you going to solve that problem? Um, but, you know, AEW's handed Punk the world. Um, we all sort of knew that Punk was going to win the title for Moxley last night. Uh, the Joker... I was shocked. It turned out to be MJF, his return. I don't want to see another Punk MJF match. I really don't. But what's really, what's left? Who's, who's next for CM Punk? To me, it should be part of the elite. Or even Hangman Page, but Punk? Punk claims... He told Khan, I want nothing to do with Paige, and he would refuse again to lose to Hangman Adam Page. And if he put this situation, say if it were Kenny going after him eventually, and Punk said the same thing, and Tony Khan went along with it, Tony Khan, what are you doing? You're, you know, you're just praising all these WWE guys and giving them everything they want. And you're, you're making a big mistake. You really are. And why you're doing this, I don't know. But, you know, this, this media scrum totally overshadowed. You know, it, it made Clash at the Castle and All Out. It just was secondary. And Clash at the Castle had a great main event. You know, if people watched it, Roman Reigns and Drew McIntyre, it was a superb, awesome match. Even Seth Rollins and Riddle was a great match. And I think, to be quite honest with you, on uh, All Out, we had like three really good matches. I thought the trios match, you know, for the trios belt with Hangman and Dark Order against Kenny and the Young Bucks was a great match. Um, you, you sort of were hoping they'd give it to the Dark Order and Hangman, but Kenny just coming back, you knew he was going to get something. And it, it's not like they really need it, but again, 
it, you know, it was a good match. And, you know, the tag title match, Keith Lee and Swerve Strickland against the Acclaimed. The fans in Chicago loved the Acclaim. And I honestly thought they were going to have an opportunity. I thought they were going to win. I really did. But they didn't pull the trigger on it. And it's sort of much like the Street Profits when they had their matches against the Usos. It was it was the best match of the night, I think. You know, but um, yeah. And then um, there was a really nice feel-good moment for FTR and Wardlow against the Motor City Machine Guns and Jay Lethal. Uh, Dax Harwood brought his daughter out, and that was sort of cool. And then, you know, Satnam Singh comes in. He was going to, you know, take care of business and the return of Samoa Joe. So, you know, that was sort of fun to see Joe again. We haven't seen him in quite a while. But, um, yeah, the media scrum, it, you know, if you if you get to watch it, it's on Twitter. And it, Tony Khan just, he goes, well, I didn't know this was going to happen. I didn't know that. And all Punk does is say the F word. I mean, every other word is the F word. And, uh, but he trashed. You know, the four guys, four of the five, because Cody's now gone. But he trashed the four guys that helped start this company. And I just don't know how Tony Khan can allow that. I just don't. It just, Tony Khan, go ahead. Keep on digging yourself a bigger hole with these guys. You let CM Punk dictate and tell you what to do. And guess what? Your company, yeah, you, you put on great pay-per-views and whatnot. But it, start doing your own thing, man. We don't need people from everywhere else coming into AEW and winning all the time and getting belts and whatnot. It's just like Tony Storm getting the interim title. To me, in that four-way match, a lot of people thought it was going to be Britt Baker. I would have given it to Jimmy Hayter. Um, and that would have been that would have been great. But they, I don't know. I guess all companies do this. But again, watch the media scrum with CM Punk. Like I said, he totally trashed the Young Bucks, Kenny Omega, and especially Hang Me and Page. And prior to that, he was trashing Colt Cabana. You know, we don't give a shit if you paid his bills years and years ago and all this crap. Who cares? You haven't been with him since 2013-14. So, you know, that was like eight, nine years ago. Who gives a shit? Really, CM Punk, get your ego in check because you're getting to be one of the most hated people in AEW. And with this being said, Khan's going to lose a lot of people. I see eventually people just saying, screw this. You know, no wonder why we don't see Hangman wrestle much anymore. You know, he gets trashed by CM Punk and no one says a word about it. You know, and now when it's Kenny and the Bucks, come on. And we all know, in real life, Paige, Kenny, and the Bucks are all friends. Uh, like I said, they helped start this company. Con, figure it out. Because right now, you guys are in a big, big mess. And if you don't figure it out, you're going to see the repercussions. This is the Iceman on the Iceman B2013 YouTube channel. On this Labor Day Monday, peace out, everybody. Have a great, great day.